Today is July the 4th. It's polling day here in the United Kingdom and it's time for us to decide the next government for the next five years. Before you go to the polling station, put your eggs in the box of the person who you want to vote for. I hope to give you some thoughts, feelings, maybe some advice if you need it and if you still feel undecided. I want to start off by giving you some statistics. In 2010, Labour lost the election to the Conservative Party, who were the major party and formed a coalition with the Lib Dems, maybe you remember. At the end of that, the NHS was actually at its highest satisfactory level for a long time. Schools were well funded and we only had 35 food banks in the UK. Contrast that with today in 2024, after 14 years of Conservative Party government. Well, schools are crumbling. We've seen that. We've also seen that uh, the NHS is at its least satisfaction level. It's at the lowest level ever. 7.5 million people are on a waiting list. And now there are thousands of food banks. And there are even more food banks now in the UK than there are McDonald's restaurants. Yes, that's right. You can search online. And that says everything about this Conservative Party. And that's why I'm urging you today not to vote for them. I'm urging you today to vote for the best candidate in your seat to defeat a Conservative Party person, candidate, whatever you want to call them. Whether that's Labour, Liberal Democrat or Green, I hope you can um, vote today to get rid of the Conservative Party. For me, the best uh, place candidate is the Labour Party. And I'm happy to give my vote to the Labour Party. Yes, Keir Starmer is not exactly Tony Blair. He th doesn't um, have the same charisma, doesn't have the same aura. We don't know where he stands on many things. He changes his mind a lot. But he has brought the Labour Party back from a defeat where the Conservative Party won a supermajority. And yes, I'm going to use that word supermajority because it was an 80 seat majority, a big majority. And yes, if you look in the history, it's bigger than a lot of other uh, prime ministers' majorities. They squandered it. But um, at the end of the day, Keir Starmer has taken the Labour Party back from that defeat till today, where Labour on the cusp of government and I believe a Labour government is always better than a Conservative, a Conservative Party government. And you can look at that through the history. Again, I'm, I'm, I'm welcome for you to disagree with me. I'm happy for you to, to do that. But the Labour Party have given us the NHS, the welfare state. They've also decriminalised uh, homosexuality. Uh, they got rid of the death penalty. Um, they also, uh, in the, obviously this is through history of Labour being the government, obviously that's over like the last hundred years. Um, uh, and then most of that time actually has been Conservative Party as well. But uh, they've also uh, given us the minimum wage under Tony Blair, peace in Northern Ireland as well. And the NHS again at the highest satisfaction level ever. Uh, the Labour Party are always uh, good, I think, when they're in government. Um, and the Conservative Party, I think, uh, don't really offer us a good uh, deal anymore. Britain, for me, is a country where we place decency, the rule of law, and also fairness above anything else. Under the Conservative Party, more and more people now are struggling to pay rent, bills, some working people are having to go to food banks. They demonise uh, people who are basically um, not as good as them, not doing so well. They demonise minorities, they demonise immigrants, they demonise asylum seekers. And it's all because of the austerity cuts that they've done. It's not because of the immigrants, that's what Farage wants you to think. It's because of the austerity cuts that the Conservative Party have done that has meant services such as the Home Office don't work very well. And Farage is the same. And the Conservative Party are trying to take a leaf out of the Farage book. They want uh, Britain to be a small little country 
Whereas I think Britain is better when it's leading the world, whether that uh, be in um, the rule of law or in technology or anything. I think Britain needs to be leading the way in some of these areas. But instead, the Conservative Party trying to follow Reform UK to leave the ECHR after leaving the European Union is just going to make a mockery of us overseas and diminish our uh, global standing. Remember, Winston Churchill was one of the creators of the ECHR. It's an international court, not a foreign court. And Winston Churchill, as well as Margaret Thatcher, are probably rolling in their graves looking at the Conservative Party today. But today you have the chance to de defeat the Conservative Party, to end 14 years of decimation of our public services, of decimation of our global standing, and also decency in our politics. It's time that we had people who put their country first or public service first, rather than themselves or their party. We can see under the Conservatives, Partygate, Gamblegate, they don't care about us. They just care about themselves. They think they're better than us, so they don't have to adhere to the rules while we were stuck at home in COVID. And they want to nick a few quid by betting on a election date that they already knew before us as well. The Conservatives, their time is over. And today what I'm urging you to do is to choose the best candidate on your ballot paper in your constituency that can defeat a Conservative Party person. And if you want to find out or you don't know who it could be, the best place to go is stopthetories.vote. That's stopthetories.vote. If you don't want to do that, then I really urge you to put your faith in the Labour Party. I think the Labour Party will always be better than the Conservative Party. That's just my thinking and that's just my politics. Anyway, let me know what you think. Are you ready for change? Or do you want more of the same? Today we're going to find out and later live we will see the exit poll and hopefully uh, the end of the Conservative Party. Please leave your comments in the comments section below. And if you haven't done so already, make sure you press subscribe. And uh, thanks so much for watching.